We had a great last month of uh, last year. December was up 2.4% for the UCLA Pulse of Commerce Index. That followed a rise in, a smaller rise in November, which together offset completely the sluggishness that we've had since May, and we're now up above the May number. So in terms of the year overall, we had great growth in trucking through May. Then we had a kind of timeout that lasted to, until November, but since November, it's uh, really surging strong. On a year-over-year -year basis, the news is even better. We were up 4.1%. This is the 13th straight month of year-over-year -year growth, and it's particularly encouraging because December of last year was very strong, and the index was able to show growth over that strong comparison. Over the past 10 years, the PCI has shown a remarkable correlation with the government's industrial production report. Uh, last year was no exception. We correlated very closely, and that's reflected in the report we just issued. For this month, for December, uh, we expect industrial production to be relatively strong at about growth of 0.6% when it's reported later this week. Uh, the outlook for GDP, we also have an indication of that. When we reported for November, we said that without a surge in December, GDP growth for the fourth quarter would likely be no greater than 2%. We did get a surge in December, which makes us more positive about GDP for Q4, but still feel that GDP would come in below the current consensus, which is about 3.5% when it's released later this month. Another uh, interesting fact to note is that in the PCI press release we issued in November, we said that it appears the retail sales for the holiday season would be better than last year, but could be weaker than expected. Based on media reports we've seen in the last week, this appears, appears to have been the case. There's one interesting anomaly about this uh, month's data. Because we have transaction level information, we can dig into the daily data, and it turns out that it was the inter-holiday period between Christmas and New Year's that was abnormally strong. In fact, we we are above the, the previous peak in 2007 during that period of time. So whether that's going to be sustainable into next year is something that we all need to root for. But we'll tune in next month when we get the January data to see what's really happening. To sum up 2010, the PCI reflected a reviving economy last year. A strong recovery during the first five months of the year was followed by a five-month stall, but we finished the year strong. Uh, for next year, our outlook is for continued recovery. Uh, however, comparisons on a year-over-year -year basis, uh, particularly in the first half of the year, remain difficult. We see no evidence of a double dip in 2011, but we're not yet seeing signs of growth that will drive meaningful employment gains.